everybody, I'm Rebecca Louise and I've partnered up with Lecoq Sportif to bring you the best workouts ever. Today we have got 15 minutes, so we're going to be working those arms, the leg, the butt, everything that's got you covered. So if you can imagine your dream body, we're going to help you create it. So give yourself these 15 minutes to change your whole body. So let's get started on working that full body. We're going to start off with our arms. Okay, you don't even need any weight, so you can do this workout right from your living room. All you're gonna do is you're gonna have your feet a little bit wider than hip distance, okay? You're gonna have a slight bend in the knee and you're gonna tuck your pelvis underneath. So we're gonna keep those abs engaged the whole time, which means we're working two body parts all at once. It's gonna be unbelievable. Arms out to the side, you're gonna drop those shoulders down and we're gonna be doing very, very small motions. So you guys have gotta keep your arms up the whole time. The first one, we're gonna do small circles going backwards. So just drop those shoulders down, Okay, and very, very tiny. If you just look at mine, look out to your arms as well. Have a look what you're doing. Are you making them nice and small? That's it, good job. Now, no time for I want you to drop those arms down to your side, because if you want to get those toned arms, you're going to have to keep your arms up. That's it, small circles going backwards. Now, are you ready? We're going to take them forwards in three, two, one. Let's go forwards. That's it, you're gonna feel amazing guys. Do you wanna work those triceps and the biceps? Get super toned arms, get rid of those bingo wings. Yes, we're gonna have a full body workout for you. This is all you guys need. Just keep doing these exercises and you're gonna get that dream body. Cause if you can imagine it, we're gonna create it for you. Okay, great work everybody. Drop those shoulders down. Just take a little look out to the side. Make sure that you're doing it right and have a slight bend in those knees as well. Okay, you ready for the next one? You gotta keep your arms up the whole time. We are gonna go pulses up and down. So the palms are gonna be facing down. And I know this is gonna burn, but it's the last 30 seconds where everything starts to happen. It's where the changes are gonna take place. So make sure you just keep going. Tuck those hips underneath. You've got 15 seconds left, and then we're gonna flip those hands over and we're gonna do pulses up towards the sky. Okay, you're doing great guys. Come on, this is the arm part. We're gonna be working our butt, our abs, everything. Okay, right, let's put those palms up and squeeze, that's it. It's very, very small guys. The smaller the motion, okay, the better the workout is gonna be for you and the better those results. Whew, goodness, I'm really feeling it guys. You can feel it too. Keep those arms nice and tight because the tighter they are, the more muscles you're gonna be able to work. Okay, so the better results are gonna be. And we're looking to get results, right? Yes. Okay, good job. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go forwards. So kind of open up your hands a little bit as if you're gonna squeeze a ball, okay? And just pushing forwards. You've got air in front of you. You're trying to like push something out the way. That's it, adding that little bit of resistance. And keep those arms up nice and tight. I wanna see those arms straight. How straight are they? That's it, take a little look. Are they nice and straight? Good job, because the straighter than they are, the more engaged, the better those results are gonna be. Okay, good job. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Don't drop them down, we've gotta go backwards first and then you can. That's it, tuck those hips underneath, keep those abs engaged as well, because you know what? That's gonna help build that tummy muscle too. Okay, flatten down those abs. Okay, chest up and squeeze, just like we were forward, you're gonna be kind of pushing that air away but beneath you. <sighs> okay, I'm excited guys, because we have got abs next and that is my favorite thing to work out. So make sure you get through this whole exercise. Okay, super important. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Okay, drop those arms, my goodness, how are you feeling? Good, no rest, we're gonna go straight down and we're gonna do a very basic crunch. So the real key part here is, is to make sure that your back is flat on the ground. If your back is arched, you're gonna be working your back and not your abs. So if you wanna get a flat tummy, you have gotta go squish down underneath so that you can't get your hand underneath. Your hands here, and we're just gonna lift up and squeeze. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. And I'm just bringing my shoulders up off the ground. I'm keeping my back nice and flat. My hips are tucked under, and then my feet are flat on the ground. So I'm just squeezing in and out. That's it, try and bring that chest a little bit higher up off the ground each time. Woo, we're feeling good guys. We really are working those ab muscles. Let's go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be extending that leg out in front and we're gonna bring those knees in. 
So keep those arms nice and tight, because remember, it's a full body workout. So even though we're working those abs, we're actually gonna be able to get a double whammy and work those arms too. So your arms are out here, you bring those knees in towards the chest, and then you extend out. Okay, let's go. So squeeze and together. The further you can go back, okay, the better it's gonna be, but you don't wanna go so far back that you fall back on your flat on your back. Okay, important that you're squeezing those legs in. So look guys, even though we're doing an ab exercise, we're working those arms, we're also working the legs. This is why this workout, even though it's 15 minutes, you just implemented it into your day, every single day you're gonna be able to get results. Because we are working more than just one body part here. Okay, squeezing in and out. Let's go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now stay here and those arms are gonna be out to the side. So you're just pulsing up and down. That's it, you can start to really feel it in those quads now. My goodness, I can feel it in my quads. I'm using those arms. My abs are on fire too. My goodness, we are gonna have such great results with this workout. I'm, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Because I definitely am excited. Woo, okay, keep the chest up. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, last ab exercise. We're gonna be working those oblique muscles. So if you wanna trim down your waist, okay? Super important that you again suck those back into the ground. You place your hands up and we're just gonna tilt either side and squeeze. So the idea is, is that you wanna try and touch your palm, your fingertips, okay, with your shoe. And you're squeezing either side. So it's a real twisting motion because we're working on really trimming down that waist. So you just wanna keep squeezing either side. Halfway there. Come on guys, you can keep going. We're gonna be working those abs and the glutes next. So let's give everything that we've got. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, okay. Come up to standing for me. And we're gonna to start to work on those legs and the glute muscle too. So come to the front of your mat. We're gonna have our chest up and we're gonna take one leg back into a low lunge and then squeezing. And the idea is, is that when you get here, you wanna tuck your hips underneath because that's the secret move to actually really get those glutes nice and tight. So what we're gonna do is go down and then squeeze. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So you drop it nice and low. Okay, the wider you can, the better. You don't have to go fast, it's all about being controlled. And you wanna make sure that that knee doesn't go over the toe, that's really important. Okay, we're halfway there. That's it, just keep breathing in and out for me, because we're gonna do a nice static hold, and then we're gonna go into the, the secret move that's gonna change those legs, that's those pulses. We love some pulses. Okay, now we're gonna hold it here. So get nice and comfortable, okay? I say comfortable, you're probably not gonna be that comfortable because all your muscles are gonna be really nice and tight. But the good thing about this is that you're really toning your muscles, okay? So hold it here, <sighs> nice big breath in. And if you can feel that burn, which you should be able to, make sure you hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca. So squeeze those muscles, okay? We're gonna go into those pulses in just 10 seconds. And you've gotta do it for the whole 30 seconds to really get those results. So you ready? We're gonna do it together. So don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Three, two, one. So we're gonna pulsing up and down. Now the lower you can get that pulse, the better it's gonna be. So you can pulse up here, but if you're all the way down here, you're gonna get those glutes on fire, you're gonna get these quads on fire, and the results are gonna be even better. Okay, keep it going. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those legs together and we're gonna go straight back down on the other leg. So all the way down and then squeeze, okay? And the idea is, is to really squeeze that pelvis together so that we're working that glute muscle as well as the leg, okay? So let's go down. We gotta do the same on the other side as we did with the first because we don't wanna be lopsided. So really try and push yourself through this, okay? We want the whole body to be toned. You're working those glutes. You're working those quads too. That's it guys, keep it going. You're halfway there on those lunges and I've got some exciting news for you. Because once you've got through like the next minute, you're gonna be in some stretching. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna thank me then. Okay, three, two, one. Hold it here and then just like gonna lift up that chest, try and drop that knee slightly lower. <sighs> Breathe in 
Make sure the knee's not over the toe. And then just think of something happy, kind of like what you want your body to look like. And then you're going to be able to keep going. Okay, are you ready to pulse? This is where the magic happens. So three, two, one. Let's go. So just pulsing up and down. Try and get nice and low to the ground. This is the last part, and then you're going to be able to get to stretch. 15 seconds to go. And then I'm going to just let you let your legs have a rest. And we're going to go into stretching those arms. Okay, count down with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring those legs together. Shake them out. I know they're feeling amazing. You can really feel that burn. But when you feel that burn, that's when your muscles are going to start to really work. Okay, great job. Let's take one arm across the other. Take a big breath in and say well done to yourself because you guys did so amazing today. Well done. And as you breathe out, you just want to kind of gently pull this arm a little bit closer towards you. Have a slight bend in those knees always just to protect those joints. And then smile because you managed to get through it. Now it's about the stretching, okay? So important, this is gonna help with your flexibility, help with your balance as well. So it's really, really key that we stretch afterwards. And let's switch over to the other side. And plus, when you stretch, okay, the great thing is, is that you're actually gonna be loosening up those muscles. So you're gonna be able to do this workout every single day once you complete the stretch. <sighs> nice work, everybody. Okay, let's just breathe in. And then as you breathe out, just pull that arm a little bit closer towards you. Three, two, one. Okay, arms over the top. So feet together this time. Okay, I'm just grabbing hold of my elbow and just gently pulling onto it. Okay, so just stretching out here and we're gonna work out those bingo wings because we were doing those circles earlier. Good job, everybody. Okay, keep it going. Just a nice big breath in. And then just like we did before, as you breathe out, you're just gonna pull onto that armor just a little bit more just to feel that stretch. Okay, let's switch over to the other side. I tell you what, my legs really, really need a good stretch today. That workout was amazing for the, for the hamstrings as well as those quads as well. So you're gonna to start to really feel the, the changes in your body. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, just pull that arm a little bit closer towards you. Okay, let's work on really stretching those legs. So do three rotations for me right here. And let's take one leg across, and we're gonna be working on stretching out the glute muscle. So all across here, you just kind of want to sit down if you're in a chair. Okay, if you need to hold on to somebody, no problem. If you want to hold on to a wall, and it's actually going to, this is really good for your balance as well. So if you want to work on that core muscle, this stretch is going to help with that too. Okay, how are we feeling? Good, let's switch over to the other leg. And let's go down. And stretching is really going to help with your flexibility. And a few of the stretches too are going to help with your balance, just like this one. And when your balance is nice and strong, you're going to have that nice strong core as well. Okay, let's just hold it here for another five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground and we worked out those ab muscles today, so important that we give them a nice stretch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands either side of your armpits and you're just gonna lift up. So I'm keeping that feet flat on the ground, I'm squeezing my glutes, okay, and just lifting up. Oh, that feels so good. Nice work, everybody. Breathe in for me and then breathe out. Just tilt that neck a little bit higher up towards the sky. And then as you come down, we are gonna swivel over and we're just gonna finish off with those legs. So lying flat on your back, you're gonna grab one of those knees, okay? And each side is gonna be a little bit more flexible than the other, that's completely normal. So don't think that you're abnormal from here. One side is you've got your leg all the way up to your head and the other one it's not. That's completely normal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out the back of the leg. So hold on to this here. And then as you breathe in, Breathe out and then you can pull that leg a little bit closer towards you. Just try and keep it nice and straight. And let's switch over to the other side. So bring that knee in. Okay, that's it, good job. Just, just bringing that knee in towards the chest and then extending the leg out. And as you can see, this leg isn't as flexible and that's completely normal. So don't worry that one leg is going all the way to your head and the other one's not. That's it, great job. Okay, coming up to sitting. You're gonna grab one leg and you're gonna put it over the other, okay? And you're gonna twist and you're gonna be stretching out that, those glutes as well as the upper body. So give me a nice smile because you're almost through this workout. Just think, if you add this into your day, every single day, the difference in your body is gonna be unbelievable. So other leg across, because this workout works your whole body. 
So even when you're doing some of the ab exercises, you're actually working your legs and your arms too. So this is definitely the workout that you want to do if you're not sure what body part to work. Okay, three, two, one. The last stretch we're gonna do, you're gonna come down onto the ground and you're just gonna twist and you're gonna look in the opposite direction. Okay, so we're working on those glutes, stretching out those arms. Let's bring those knees in together and let's take the other one across. So bringing that knee down, extend that arm out, breathe in and then out, come together and give yourselves a pat on the back because you managed to finish our full 15 minute workout. Wow, you guys got through a full 15 minutes of that full body workout. You guys are unbelievable. You are going to so see those results when you just keep doing this workout every single day. Because we've been working those arms, the butt, the legs, you're going to feel incredible. Guys, I'll see you on the next workout.